Okay, Unit 9, Lesson 3, Identifying Linear and Exponential Functions. So the goal, um, as you move up in math, we don't want to always be able to do a bunch of work to determine what kind of functions they are. We want you to be able to look at certain things and quickly be able to identify it. Now, for your homework, you'll also have to justify why, but these are some of the words that you'll be using. Okay, so first, um, if you have a linear function or an exponential. These are going to be the two differences. So on a sequence, linear is really the same as an arithmetic sequence. Okay, and we talked about that in 9.1. So arithmetic, which means you're going to be adding the same number. All right, for geometric, it's actually the exponential. Geometric, which means you are multiplying by the same number which was 9.2. So I'm going to write 9.2 and this was 9.1. Okay. All right. A general formula. What you're going to notice is it's going to be a linear equation in the form y equals mx plus b. Now these might be rearranged. So what you really want to notice is it's x to the first power and a y to the first power. Okay. For exponential, it's going to look like a times b to the x. And what you really want to look for is x is in the exponent. There might not be an a number. Um, that's just the general formula. Okay. All right. The pattern is you are adding the same number. Arithmetic pattern is you are multiplying the same number, which also looks like dividing. And this also looks like subtraction. Okay. A graph. So a linear, this was from, oops, this was from last quarter. A linear will be the shape of a line. And since um, these are functions, you might see them as dots, depends on what you're given, or you might see them connected. Okay, to be flexible. Same thing if you have the graph of an exponential, it's going to be an exponential curve or it might be connected. Now these can also go the other way and they could be moved up and down. Okay, same thing. All right, other features and characteristics. Um, these might be word scenarios, so they might be talking about um, adding or if it's money, um, the same amount each week, um, et cetera, other things. Um, this would imply that you are multiplying money by the same amount. So like it might be a percentage, like 7% each week. Okay, so um, this should give you a good start. If you're not sure of some scenario, you can always write out terms and see which one fits. Okay, all right, good luck.